If you think that election results are decided by who people vote for, you could be completely wrong. Let's see why. Take three candidates and 17 voters. Each votes for their favorite one. The candidate with the most votes, A, wins. This is plurality voting, the most common voting method. But A won with only seven votes, even though 10 people did not want them. To fix this, we use another method, instant runoff voting. Instead of simply selecting a candidate, voters rank each one. The first choice votes remain the same as before, but the second and third choices are added. A candidate must get more than half the votes to win. Since no one has a majority, the candidate with the fewest first choice votes, B, is eliminated and their votes are reallocated. After reallocation, C has 9 votes and A has 8 votes. So C wins this time instead of A. It gets even more interesting with the third method, the Condorcet system. This system compares each candidate directly against the others. A versus C, C wins. A versus B, B wins. And B versus C, B wins again. Since B beats both A and C, B is the overall winner. The same votes, but completely different winners. So where does the real power lie? With the voters or with those who choose the voting method? 